Hey Bubble folks, and welcome to the third part of building for mobile on Bubble's new responsive engine. This is Damien from BubbleX.io, and in today's five minute tutorial, I'm going to walk you through adding a nice little slide up menu for sign up and login purposes to your mobile apps in Bubble built on the new responsive engine. In my last video, I walked you through building this really cool landing page for mobile on the new responsive engine. And so today we're going to add this nice little sign up and logging screen. Okay. Let's dive right into it. Last time we set up our page, we set it as no line to parent. We added a group landing page. We pinned it to the top, gave it a hundred percent of the width and of the height of our app. And in this group, we added the group content. We aligned it to the middle. We structured it as a column and added our elements in here. Okay. So if you want to add this sign up thingy here, we can also make use of the align to parent property of our parent group landing page. I just go ahead and get an empty group. Just going to put it in here. Okay. Align it to the bottom middle. That's good. Let's not have this fixed. I want this to be a column. I want it to have a hundred percent of the width. I don't want it to have a minimum height, but I'll just going to keep this for a second so I can edit elements. I want the height to fit to the content. That's fine. Let's see what we need. We need a text to input the button and more texts. Let's go ahead and add everything. So first we need text, then input. Then I'm just going to copy paste this. Then we need two more texts. I'm just going to copy this one here. I'm going to take this text and move it to make it last. So it's also a bit last. First of all, I want everything centered and take up 80% of the width of the end. Just going to add and do this for all elements. Okay, cool. Once that's done, let's take care of the height of our texts because currently they have a minimum height. I don't want this. I'm just going to delete the number here. Okay. Let's add some actual text or element before we style them. This could be, so this would be, this would be email content format. I want to select an email. This would be password content format. I'm just like password here. I want to actually give the user an opportunity to switch to login if they already have an account. And here we have some space for a display in there. Okay, cool. Now we can get rid of our minimum height for the group here. By the way, since we're at it, let's also call this group sign up. Okay. Let's give our elements some styles real quick. Uh, by the way, I just realized I forgot that bucky. Not a problem. I'm just going to get it here. Click in the group. And since we have this pretty cool new feature of moving elements around, I'm just going to put it here. I think I'll give this 80% of the width. And then give this a fixed height. Send triggers. Okay. Let's add some margins to our element. Just going to try something here. Let's also give this button a style. This style, by the way, that's a simple color gradient. Let's give this some margin on the back here. Okay, cool. That's all set up. Let's add some radius to our corners here. Let's try 30 here. Okay. Let's preview this. Okay. I guess we could still play around a little bit all the margins, but for now, let's leave it like that. This would be, sorry. Up. Okay. Now let's also add a login. I'm just going to copy this. And then let's hide it for a second. So our group here, I'm just going to paste. See if you sign up copy here. I'm going to call this group login. Just going to call this text login. Well, okay. Let's add some workflows. So the first thing we want to do is give our user a way to enter dialogue. So if we sign up here, yeah, by the way, that's important. Let's make sure we collapse the height when hidden. So the other can't get in the way. And we don't want this to be visible on page load. We also don't want this to be visible on page load. Okay, cool. Let's go to our button sign up and the workflow. This is clicked. I want to 
early rain element. I want to early rain. Sign up. I want to early rain it up in. Okay, let's click the test us. Okay, it seems to be working. Let's also make sure that if we click on these texts, that we can switch between login and sign up. So if I click on go to login, I first want to could animate group sign up. I want to animate this down out. And I want to have the login to be animated up in. And if I go back to my group login, I want to do the opposite. I need to change the text here. This should be go to sign up. So the first thing I want to do is I want to have group login and I want to have group sign up in. That's still the right from before. Let's go ahead and test our setup. Cool. I go to speed pops up. I want to go to login, sign up. Okay, that works. Let's do some cosmetics because right now we still see the same background. I don't want to have this. So this group content here in the middle, we're going to give this a condition. Group sign up is visible or group login is visible. I don't want this to be visible. So this is visible unchecked, but I still want to have the image. So I'm going to copy the image here. Type me group content here for a second. Go to my group landing page and then paste this here. I want this to align to top center. Let's give this only about 30 pixels of margin. Condition from before and I need that. Go to layout. So I don't want this to be visible on page load, but I want it to be visible if group sign up or login are visible. So I'm just going to copy the condition for my group content and turn the route. Copy this condition, go back to my image, paste this. So if group sign up is visible or is visible, I want to see visible as well. Let's go ahead and test this. Okay, then go to sign up and voila. This looks good. Of course, I said you can play around with the layouts and the margins and so on, but that's the basic mechanics of it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, sign up to my newsletter at newsletter at bubblex.io and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.